everyone, it's Suzanne in Texas, and I'm going to try to show you one version of how to make a um, patch to put on one of those hats like I've been posting. And um, first I need to open a new design space, and I've got the 5x7 hoop up here. If you wanted to change that, you go up here and pick which one you need and that sort of thing. Anyway, so I'm at the 5x7. I am going to import an applique design that I happen to have in my library. Now, most of y'all may not have this, but it was a free gift uh, in 2013, and you can find it on the Embrilliance website under forums. Go down to the share folder or share topic, I don't know, and you'll see it. It's one of the first few, you know, gift type things. I'll try and uh, include a link to it in the comments. I chose the square because I want to make a rectangle and I'm going to change the square size until I have a rectangle about the size I want it. I think I'll do about a two and a half by three and a half. But you could make it any size you want. And then I'm going to press this button here to center it. Now, this is an applique, so it has three different steps. The first one is your tack down. No, pardon me, placement stitch. Second is tack down. Third is the satin stitch. I'm going to change those colors so that there's a definite stop. And the, there will be because it's a design from Embrilliance, but I like to see it. So I'm going to change the color. You just tap on it and then choose whatever color you want. I'm going to choose kind of a yellow for that first one. So the placement stitch, it tells you where to put your fabric, is there. And then this would be the tack down. You place your fabric and tack it down and then trim it. Sorry. And then the, the, perform the satin stitch. And I assume everybody knows how to do applique. So we've got our frame. That's actually going to end up being a patch. Now you need to add whatever design you want, design element you want for your patch. I'm just going to do lettering. And I'm going to use the default block just to make things simple, but you know, you can go through and pick whichever font is your favorite, and the BX fonts are wonderful. Okay, I'm going to do a patch for my 50th high school reunion that will be coming up in a couple of years. Um, I went to CHS, Cooper High School in Abilene, Texas. And I'm going to enlarge this. And you can do that because this is an Embrilliance font. Let's center it. And you can make it whatever size you really want. And then I'm going to add the year I graduated. So I'm going to start back on this and I'm going to use block again. And I graduated in 1972. Guess how old that makes me. And that's a little bigger than I want because I want the CHS to stand out. So I'm going to downsize that. And then center it in about where I want above the CHS. And then the my fit. My 50th reunion will be held in 2022, so let's do that, and then move it and maybe make it a little smaller. And I like to make sure they're both about the same size, so this one is 1972 with 7 eighths by 5 sixteenths. I'm going to try and get this one to be 7 eighths. You can do it like this, or you could just pull, um, well, I didn't, didn't really 
work. I'm gonna, okay, I'm just going to do it right here. There we go. Seven eighths. Center it where you want it. Also, I want the CHS to be a different color than the numbers, the years. So this was my CHS. You can find it for sure right here. Um, I'm going to change it to something different. Let's just do a blue. And our color is red and blue, so I might do blue for my satin around the applique. I might do blue for my CHS and then red for the years. And that's it. Then, to apply it to the hat and everything, I have a separate video that I can link to in the comments. I hope that helps. I'm also going to do another video showing a little different technique um, shortly. Thanks. Bye.